Hi, today I'm going to do a lovely fuchsia pink look. As you can see, it's quite smoky on the eyes there. And if you'd like to know how to do this gorgeous pinky look, then just keep on watching. Right, to start off this look with a small angled brush, I'm just going to be applying this cream over here. This is from the 78 Coastal Scents palette. And just apply it to the inner corner of the eye. Then with a tapered brush, I'm going to be applying this purple called Shadowy Lady, it's sort of like a charcoal-y colour. Just tap off the excess and apply that to the outer V and just work it up. It is a matte shadow so you just really need to work at it just to really get it to blend in really well, but it is definitely worth the effort, so carry on trying. Bring it over about two thirds of the way into your crease line and blend it slightly above the crease as well. Then with that same tapered brush, apply Max Beauty Marked Eyeshadow, which is there next to charcoal. It's like a glittery charcoal colour with hints of sort of maroony glitter. Really beautiful and great for sort of using on the outer V. Just blend over on the outer V. Don't work it up too much though because it is quite pigmented and it does sort of spread quite easily. So just work it into the outer V there. Then with a small tapered brush apply that same Beauty Marked by MAC and just line it very close to the lash line. You can connect it with that outer V as well and bring it down about two thirds the way in. The charcoal colour that I also used was by MAC as well. Okay, and then if you turn that small tapered brush to the side and then you can bring it back to blend in that harsh line to give a really with soft a small angle look. brush. Apply MAC sort of grey pinky undertoned club eyeshadow just in over the coastal scents creamy colour that we applied slightly in and out just keeping it to the inner tear duct and bring it down slightly Then just with the small tapered brush, small flat brush, sorry, again with the club eyeshadow, just bring it down and connect it into the corner of the tear duct with that bottom colour there. Then with a pointed tapered brush, I'm going to be applying the Crown Bush 88 palette. It's this sort of fuchsia pink there. Just apply it over to the outer V and just work it up just sort of over the smoky look that you've created and blend it in just there and take the colour up really to give it a lovely wash of colour then with a small flat brush we're going to apply this really gorgeous bright pink from the same crown brush palette just dab it on and keep it at the centre of the eye dabbing it on gently. I want to keep control of the colour, I don't want it to spread out too much. And you can blend it in with that fuchsia slightly. Then with that same flat brush, applying that same pink, just underline the lash line to enhance that sort of lovely pinky effect. Okay. With a small flat brush, just apply your highlighter now. This is from the 78 Crown palette. I'm going to be using this sort of creamy white, just as the highlighter. Tap off the excess and just place it underneath the brow bone. Okay. Go. 
Now rather than using the normal black cardial that I'd like to use, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. Apply it to the waterline. This will really enhance all the sort of pinky and purpley tones. Just work it into the waterline and you'll find that the colour just sort of sticks on really. It's really, really good. Wipe away any fallout with just a makeup wipe or a damp cloth. Then apply Max X Mascara to your upper and lower lashes. And there you go, the look is completed now. I also applied some false eyelashes, as you can see there, just to add a bit more of a sort of fluttery effect. Um, for the rest of my face, I used Flirt and Tease Shimmer Tone Blush by MAC. It's a lovely sort of um, pinky toned colour, but it's quite dark as well. Um, so just apply it sort of not too liberally and it really sort of complements the fuchsia pink. And for my lips I use Baby Doll Provoke Cosmetics Lipstick. It's a lovely sort of again a sort of fuchsia pink colour and I applied some clear lip gloss just over the rest of my lips just to give it a sort of finished off polished look. So I hope you like the look then. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and please leave your comments. Okay, see you soon.